welcome to today's challenge. Today we'll be looking at a nose target exercise with a boy. So we've done this a little bit in the academy, but we've done this with a dog that already kind of knows it. So it'll be good to show you right from the start how we teach this. Now the reason for this, mostly I'll be using this for proofing an indication for scent work. So anybody that's going to join in with the scent work challenge, this is a real good foundation exercise. But also it's going to help to build the concept of adding duration to other exercises such as your hand touch and chin targets and things like that which you may want to use for your cooperative care and things so start with a coin use a coin because it's something your dog can't pick up so if the coin doesn't work for you use anything that your dog can't really pick up with their teeth and all you're going to do is you're going to pop it on the floor as soon as your dog sniffs at it you're going to mark yes pick it up and start again so similar to what we did with um like the box game so this is a free shaping exercise, so we're not luring the dog, we're just going to wait for the dog to make the right choice. So, step one. Yes. Um, Corner on the floor, mark here, yes, drop the tree. Ready? Yes. And then pick up the coin. Now I pick up the coin each time initially, just so she um, notices it as something new in the environment, which means she's more likely to check it out. Ready? Yes. Good girl. And I want to drop the tree as close to the coin as I can. Yes. Good girl. Yeah. Zombie. She doesn't look at it, I'll pick it up and I'll pick it again. Yes. Good girl. What's the treat? There it is. Ready? Yes. Good girl. There it is. Now make sure you teach this on um a surface where your dog can actually see the treats land as well and actually if you did this for example on your kitchen floor and you used dry food that makes a noise it makes it a bit easier for your dog to notice that you've actually dropped the treat yes good girl ready looking for food it's not there i'll pick up the coin and we'll do it again yes good girl it's there yes Now if I can leave the coin there, even better. Yes. And every time she puts her nose on it, I'm going to mark yes and reward. I'm not sure you can even see the coin. Uh, if I move it closer to the camera a bit, so it maybe further away even. Here we go. Let's move further away. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Let's pick it up. Yes. Didn't notice, did you? Wait to see if she will find the coin. Found the treat. Where's the coin? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yeah. Zombie. Yes. Girl. Yes. Yes. So this is a silent exercise, other than the marker word that you use. Yes. Yes. Now basically when I, re when I reward, yes, I'm aiming to throw the treat at the coin itself. Yes. Yes. And all I want right now is for her to put her nose on the coin just for a brief second. So your timing of your marker is really important here. Yes. Don't mark when you throw the treat. Yes. Mark when her nose goes on the coin. Yes. Yes. Now that's, you'll, if your timing's good, um, you may find they happen almost at the same time. Yes. Uh, but it's really important that you don't say yes as you give the treat. Yes. 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 Girl. So I'm having to reload quite frequently here. So make sure you've got a nice handful of treats. Yes. So that you can drop the treat almost as soon um, as your dog's nose hits the coin. Yes. 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 
still looking for treats. Yes, as soon as she finds the coin again, reward, yes. Where are we? Here we go. Yes. Put the coin on up. Yes. Girl. Yes. And this is, even if you never use this for anything, it's really good for building mental stimulation. Yes. Um, because it means your dog's going to have to really um, use their brain to work out, yes, the puzzle, which is put your nose on the coin. Once she's going to the coin really reliably, I can start adding duration. But we just, she needs a really firm understanding of this first before I start trying to add duration to it. Yes. So at the moment she's just getting a reward every single time her nose touches it. And that reward is being thrown at the coin. Yes. Almost the dog, it, the, the tree appears to almost jump out of the coin. Because that's what's going to draw her back to it as well. Yes. looking for food there's no food yes 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 now depending on your dog um, you may find being crouched down like this is quite distracting for some dogs you may need to stand up and do it and just be ready and armed yes ready with your treats to drop the food so see what works best for your dog if you find that your dog's looking up at you too much, um, let's say pick up the coin and reset. Yes. And actually you can achieve this same goal without using markers. If your timing's really good with your treat, you can just throw the treat onto the coin as soon as your dog's nose goes on it and it'll work pretty much the same way. So if you feel like your timing's really bad or your dog's too distracted by the markers, don't use markers. Just drop the treat on the coin as soon as their nose goes on it. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Ready? Yes. So now what I'm going to do, now she's going to the coin um, quite frequently, I'm going to wait for her to sniff just an extra, even half a second, um, before I mark yes and reward. Yes. Yes. So it's not long, just ever so slightly longer than just sniffing and moving away. You're then going to throw the treat on it after she's, yes, kept her nose out a little bit longer. Make sure you can still see her in the picture. Yes. Now, don't worry initially if your dog um, paws at it. We can kind of get rid of that later. Initially, just want at least the dog to show some interest. And then you can kind of phase that out and only reward the ones where um, they don't paw at it. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and practice this a little bit more and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're getting on once we've got even just more reliable one second duration on that coin so you can see how I'm going to progress this and then I'll get hiccup out and show you what the kind of end goal looks like. Okay, okay let's look at the coin target with hiccup. Now to start with we're going to start the same way so I'm going to put the coin on the floor, yes, mark yes and then throw the treat at the coin, yes. Um, ideally so that it um, bounces away and then he's, so he's almost resetting himself, yes. And having to refine the coin each time, yes. Good boy. Wait for him to find it. Where is it? Yes. Floor's a bit wet to do that. No, not indicating an ice hiccup, yes. Um, and what we want to do is we want to start then increasing um, the duration of how long his nose is on the coin for, yes. Now Hiccup already knows this, so he's already holding his nose on the coin quite well. But for those of your dogs who obviously don't know this yet, what I'm going to start doing now is increasing the rate of the reinforcement. So I'm going to be delivering treats quicker, yes. And I don't want them to bounce away, yes. So I almost want to encourage him to keep his nose basically on the coin, yes. An expectation of the next treat. So I kind of want to get in there before then before his nose comes back off so he's basically just staying in the same place okay now you can do this with or without 
uh, marker words actually it does work both ways so figure out what works better for your dog hey cup come on yes yes so i don't really want those treats to bounce away i want him to keep his nose right there and then once he's got the idea to keep his nose there i can then slow down the rate of reinforcement and then start doing it much slower so that he keeps his nose there longer okay so what i'm going to do now uh, moving on from the rapid fire i'll wait a second and then i'll drop it wait another second and then drop it and then wait two seconds and then do the same thing and then eventually you're going to get a really nice indication where your dog will hold their nose on the coin for a longer period of time now if you end up using this for scent work later on this is going to really help with building a good indication for your scent work because you can see then the dog will freeze over the target scent making it really clear to you that they found something and where they found it because they're indicating with their nose that's the ice hiccup good boy if at any point your dog isn't getting this always break it down um, this can take a while to shape so don't feel like you're going to get this all in one session keep coming back to it each day i'd spend a few days just on the rapid fire well, I'll spend initially a few days on just tossing the treats every time the dog goes back to it, then spend a few days on the rapid fire treats, and then work on slowing down that rate of reinforcement and start building some duration without you having to give treats all the time. Good boy. Good boy. So go away and have a practice of this one, and let's see how you guys get on.